So B in Biopic stands for Blueprint. This is where we do the consultation with our client to find out really what they want to achieve with their haircut. And then in doing so, we can map out the haircut that we want to create on their head so that it actually is in align with the vision that they have for themselves. And part to do this is we like to have different balance points that we refer to throughout our haircutting techniques that are important to learn and understand so that when you are creating that blueprint for the haircut, you can use these balance points as ways to understand the haircut that you're going to create. So first, the way that we talk about the haircut is in zones. Zone one is from the nape balance point, which is at the very bottom of the head. So at the center back here, we call this center nape balance point. That's the very center nape section. And then right nape balance point will be to their right. And then left nape balance point will be to the left. So zone one is from the nape to the lower crown ridge. Lower crown ridge, um, a lot of times people will say the occipital bone. The reason why we say the ridge is because it's this entire ridge that goes across the head from one ear all the way to the other. And typically, if you look at someone's head, the occipital bone is usually right where the top of the ear is on someone. So that's how you can see where the lower crown ridge is. You can also test this by putting the comb up against the head and where the comb leaves at the bottom is the lower crown ridge. And then where the comb leaves at the top is the upper crown ridge. So what separates into zone two is lower crown ridge to upper crown ridge all the way around to the front where the recession balance point is. So that's zone two. And then zone three is everything from the recession or upper crown ridge to the top. That's zone three. And typically when we do haircuts, we like to tackle them from zone one and then work our way on up. So zone one would be the bottom, zone two is the middle, zone three is the top. Now if you want to separate out the front of the head from the back of the head, this is a point called ear base. So right, where, right behind the ear, there's this bone on our ear. And if you put the comb where that bone is and go straight up, that's what we call ear base. If you wanted to separate the front of the head from the back of the head, you would go from the ear base up to the apex of the head, which is the top of the head, and then all the way down to ear base on the other side. So if you separate the hair from ear base to ear base, you actually create the interior frame, which is everything in front of the ear base, and the exterior frame, everything behind the ear base. Next is the balance points around the face. So at the very center top of the head is forward balance point. Then just to the right and left is where the recession is. That's where the continuation of the upper crown ridges comes to the front of the head. It's really this recession point on the head and we call this recession balance point. This is right recession balance point and left recession balance point. The next two balance points when you come in is you're gonna hit the temple. So this is right where the hair comes out a little bit, typically on most people, and that's right at the temple. This is right and left temple balance point. And then lastly, we have the interior balance point on right and left side, which is right in front of the ear, that bottom part of where the hairline is. On men, this is right where their sideburns uh, start, and with women, it's right where their hair ends. So this is right interior balance point and left interior balance point. And then the last point is if you want to split the hair from the right to left side, center focus is the line where you come from the center forward balance point and you follow it all the way down to center nape balance point in the back and that will separate the hair out from the right and left side. So that's called center focus. So once you have all of these balance points uh, memorize and understand the different points on the head, it will allow you when you're creating sections or you're mapping out the blueprint for the haircut to really showcase the haircut that's right for their head shape. Because many different people's balance points will be in different places on their head because everyone has different shaped heads. So if you focus on the balance points rather on different parts of someone's head like their ear or their eyes, it'll allow you to create a more balanced haircut that's geared towards their face shape and their balance points specifically.